Hello everyone, I'm Soik Jang from Sejong General Hospital, Korea. Today, I'll talk about diffuse from AB malformation in postpartum patient. She has a very long past history, but I'll make it very short. She was born at Pultam and beat our hospital for low complex heart problem, and we found complex heart problem, left eye small region, complete AVSD, IVC interruption, and core with elbow dystenosis. So, she underwent quadruplasty and pneumatic bending at 45 days old. And she underwent diagnosed cast at 14 months old and decays procedure with bilateral BCPS at 19 months old. At 30 months old, she underwent diagnosed cast. Her saturation was around 90%. CBP was 12 mm mercury. Ventricular EDP was 10 mm mercury. And there was a large venous collateral from IBC. But both PA looked good and both ventricular dimension was not bad. At 3 years old, she underwent diagnosis cat for persistent sinusitis, and we found severe pulmonary AB fistula on both lungs, and CBP was increased up to 18 mm mercury. So, why the treatment plan? Observation, frontal completion with the inclusion of hepatic vein, biometric conversion. We decided to perform frontal completion. She underwent extracardiac frontal operation using hemashield 60mm and hepatic vein inclusion. However, her sinusis recurred three years later. Racing saturation was around 80%, so we did dials cat. The pulmonary AB fistula on right side was improved, but on left side was remained. Also, CVP was 90mm mercury and ventricular ADP was 20mm mercury. So, what do you have to do for sinusis? Observation, revision of hepatic vein, biventricular conversion. We could not decide, and one year later, sinusis was aggravated to 70%, and we did a follow up case. And we found compression of central pulmonary artery by a delayed aorta, and diffusion severe pulmonary AB fistula on left lung field. In spite of maximal medical treatment, her sinusitis did not improve, and pulmonary AB fistula was not improved. At the conference, we decided to perform the anastomosis between left hepatic vein and azigos vein, and reduction of delayed aorta. However, the saturation did not improve. Racing saturation was around 75%. On follow-up case, severe pulmonary AB fistula on left lung did not change, and we found the left liver palsy. Because of sinusitis was aggravated, we performed embolization of left lower pulmonary AB fistula. After embolization, saturation increased up to 80%. After that, the saturation was wax and wane, so we performed follow case and embolized, embolized left upper pulmonary AB fistula. The CBP was 20 minute mercury and ventricular EDP was 25 minutes mercury. We recommended by ventricular repair frequently, but patient and parent did not want. At 19 years old, we again performed diagnosis cast and found severe left pulmonary AB fistula in spite of intact anastomosis between left hepatic vein and azigos vein. On data, CBP and ventricular EDP was improved. CBP was 13 to 50 mm mercury, and the ventricular EDP was 10 mm mercury. We recommended LPA stenting to augment hepatic flow to LPA, or by ventricular repair. Also, we considered heart transplantation, but patient wanted conservative management without change. But recently, her situation was aggravated to 60%, and she complained DOE and frequent hemoptysis. So, what do you have to do? Observation, heart transplantation with without liver transplantation, biventral conversion, or embolization of left AB fistula. She and parent did not want aggressive treatment, we did embolization. After LP angioplasty, we did test occlusion using Tyshock 22mm balloon for 10 minutes, and the CVP did not change and the saturation increased up to 90%. So, 
we did embolization using Bath Club Pro 2 20 mm without any complication. The final CVP was 21 mm mercury and saturation was 82%. In our patient clinic, her saturation maintained around 85%. From this case, we learned many lessons. Until now, we don't know which is better in borderline hyperplastic ventricle, group on time but chronic complication or difficult biventricular physiology and early anatomical recollection for the redistribution of hepatic factor is very important to develop pulmonary vascular bed in scientific post-pontan patient. Also, in pontan physiology, diaphragm palsy reduces lung volume and increases pulmonary vascular resistance. In addition, the timing and condition of biventricular conversion from pontan physiology are still unaware. Finally, why the best treatment of failing pontan? Thank you for your listening.